This is the new ProCamp feature that I'm adding to the RTX application. I'm uploading a test version so people can test it out and hopefully give me some feedback on what they think of it so far. So to use the control, I've loaded um, as an example, a grayscale waveform going from black to white. So we get a nice simple straight line and it's easy to see on the scope what the adjustments do. So the, the first thing you would normally want to adjust would be the black level. That moves the whole line up and down. It doesn't change the slope, it just changes the actual sort of positioning. So the idea is to get the blacks down there at zero in case they're not at zero for any reason. The gain, once you've adjusted the black levels, adjust the slope of the curve so it anchors at the black end and if you need to brighten up the image a bit then it will do that and you would typically adjust it so that your whites are at 100. Seems obvious really. Uh, the contrast control basically keeps the blacks and the whites where they are but it adds a steeper slope in the middle so that you get a sharper transition between black and white or indeed a shallower transition if you take it the other way. And finally in terms of the luminance controls you've got gamma which again keeps the blacks and the whites at the same level but it increases the brightness of the mid-tones or it decreases the brightness of the mid-tones. So those are the luminance controls. They work in a slightly different way depending on how you uh, apply them. So the default way is, is to have the black and the gain adjusted first, then you apply the contrast, then to apply the gamma. And if you apply them in a different order, you do get a slightly different result. Not a lot, but it can make a difference. So that's something else that you can play with. If you want to compare a kind of before and after, if you've done something fairly extreme, then holding down the bypass button will show you the original to do a quick comparison. Uh, you can also enter a name because the idea eventually is that you'll be able to store a number of different presets. At the moment there's only one, um, but this is just for test purposes. So. Obviously the colour controls aren't going to have any effect while we've just got a grayscale image so I will switch over to a camera input and then you can see what the colour controls do. So we'll close that, select a different NDI source which is a camera and uh, you probably want to know how to open this because there's nothing obvious in the user interface as yet. Um, so you just have to click to the right of the indicator, top right, and it will open the uh, ProCamp controls. So let's have a look at this camera input. The, the blacks are just about right, but they can maybe just drop down a tiny little bit. Um, but gain, I mean, ideally you would open the iris and expose this a bit more, but it could could go a little bit higher, so let's lift the whites up a little bit. Um, to be fair, this looks quite reasonable. I probably wouldn't play with these too much, but just to show you the effect, that's increasing the contrast, that's decreasing the contrast. If you're trying to match different cameras, then these are the sort of things you might have to do. Uh, and likewise, the gamma will lift the mid-tones, particularly useful if you know, you start off with a picture that looks a bit like that. <laughs> Lifting the gamma can often um, make a difference to the flesh tones. Uh, then we move on to the colour controls. This particular camera is a Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera. It's not terribly high saturation on the default output. So matching other cameras, for example, you quite often would want to put a little bit more colour into that increase the saturation. These other controls are 
for the U and V out of the YUV signal and essentially they will affect the colour color balance and if you link them in what I've got as the standard mode which means they'll both move together then you get a sort of approximation of uh, colour temperature so moving it up makes everything a little bluer and moving it down makes it a little bit more orange so that's one simple adjustment you can do uh, you can unlink these in, in which case you're going between green and magenta more or less and cyan and a kind of orangey colour <laughs> but I think it's usually best to adjust that at the same time you get a slightly warmer image so the standard linking um, is probably what would be used. Anyway, have an experiment and uh, tell me what you think about that. Uh, so that's pretty much it. If you want these settings to be saved, then if you OK it, you'll get the same thing again. If you were to adjust them and then cancel, it wouldn't wouldn't save them at all, it'd just go back to whatever we had. So if we did, for example, a very desaturated version, um, and I cancelled, oh, that's not what I wanted, open it again, and we well, don't even have to open it. It's still on the more saturated version. So to save these when you exit the program, you need to tick this box, save settings on exit, and then it'll be saved into a settings file. As I said, eventually there'll probably be a number of presets that can be saved and recalled, but for the moment there's just one. So that's where it is at the moment. Um, ideally, I'd like a few people to test it and give me some feedback, tell me what you think, and then I can finish it off and put it into a, a proper release version.